The Isle's latest dev vlog is here, as well as a teaser for Diablo Ceratops that technically showcases another upcoming dinosaur. So, without further ado, let's get right into everything. Let's start with the next AI to come to the game. This is the Citicosaurus. This will be returning as an AI and the developers have spoke on it quite a bit in the dev vlog. Kiss and Kitten's comments were the most substantial regarding Citicosaurus, but we do have some stuff from QA as well. So Kiss and Kitten basically said that it will have its iconic vocals, which will be more dynamic than they were before. You'll have to catch them before they burrow away. However, it has been warned that these will fight back as well. Additionally, we do have some information on the QA side of things. Amarok has been working on introducing the Citicosaurus AI to Avrima, which is also capable of burrowing in those tests as well. They did showcase a couple bugs that were produced from the AI, and I thought they were quite funny to share. So have a look at them. I'll probably have had them on the screen. They were funny regardless. But that's everything regarding the taco. What do you think about it? Are you happy that it's coming to the game or are you not happy because it's not going to be playable and just an AI? I'd love to know what you think. At the back end of the devlog, we got a lot of animations showcased for the Myasaura that's coming to the aisle in the future. This is one of the dinosaurs that is up next on the Trello board, roughly. I mean, there are other dinosaurs coming before that, like Diablo Ceratops, among others. However, of course, Myasaura is up there. We did figure out that the dinosaur's features are approved, and this dinosaur is now in its full swing development. We're going to be seeing a boatload more of this stuff however let's have a look at these animations firstly you've got a lower eating or pickup i think this is more likely a pickup rather than eat but it could still be that eat the next one is what looks like a frontal kick it kind of looks like the alt attack if i'm honest because it's like a kick while moving forward which could be that alt attack or just the comboing of moving forward with a kick because you have to make sure that you've got those animations there anyways the next one is digging and then after that you have the running animation as well these animations look really good and the way that they really do match up nicely with the previous bunch it gives a very nice picture of what this dinosaur is going to be like animation wise i don't know how many more they're going to be showing but hopefully we get some more to see <laughs> Both in the dev vlog and in the video teaser, we got to see a lot about the Diablo Ceratops in the Owl's recent development update. Starting with the dev vlog, Ariel has been working on programming Diablo Ceratops more this month, implementing missing or unfinished abilities, fixing bugs and polishing mechanics and animations. They have made changes as well based on testing in regards to its sparring, like positioning, etc. Diablo Ceratops also will possess the ability to push each other if they perform a running attack from the side, which is going to allow for players to chain attacks together nicely. This is said to work with like directional attacks, hitting in the direction of the camera and quickly turning the player that way. Diablo Ceratops was also showcased in a new trail camera, or trial camera, which is really cool. I really like this stuff and it's a really long one. It's five minutes of footage showcasing the dinosaur sparring in the rain, performing day-to-day -day activities, eating, just chilling, doing calls and eventually building a nest making or having babies not making babies i mean we're not seeing that are we and then of course some more stuff as well however the biggest thing is at the end one of the diablo ceratops dies and later some compies are eating the corpse but there is a shadow of a carnivore and a fud of a carnivore coming in right at the end personally i think that's allosaurus because it has a lot sharper features above the eyebrow on its shadow and i don't think the owl's rex has those sharp features but the owl's aloe does. So maybe, just maybe, that shadow is the Allosaurus and it's been teased as an upcoming playable that's coming maybe in the near future for the game. Who knows? We, we don't know actually, but what are your thoughts? I'd love to know what you think. Both the Triceratops and the Tyrannosaurus are heating up in their development as well and this is shown nicely in the dev vlog. For the sound design, the Rex got a lot of talk. When it comes to the sounds, Wedge has been focusing on creating new designs for Tyrannosaurus's calls, which has been challenging as they want to respect the legacy of the sounds, but also find their own take on it and make it unique and fit with contemporary levels of quality and realism. A likelihood there will be a mix of growls, roars and bellows overall, and making sure that that sound travels far as well, because that's quintessential of that of Tyrannosaurus Rex's sound. 
When it comes to sparring, this ties into both Trike and Rex because the sparring is what they're waiting for at the moment, but the developers reassure us and say this is not far off. The idea here is to make a dynamic combat between the two as they are old adversaries. They're aiming to leave tail riding behind for equal footed opponents like these two in general, although they do say that this is going to be a really difficult task because you're fundamentally changing the gameplay of the game and what the community tends to do, especially among dinosaur games in general, but the devs do acknowledge this will be a tough task and they are not shying away from it. So that's to do with Trike and Rex, so it's probably a little bit more that I missed out on, but that's what I could pick up on there. For the quality of life stuff, we do have some stuff that were mentioned in the devlog. Now, these are the stuff that have been worked on throughout the month. So here is what they are. And here's the full list. It's essentially just a list of quality of life improvements that have been worked on for the game. Let's just start off and dive right into it. They've allowed diets to refill closer to full. Serialization of spectator mode data so it's lighter and doesn't cause server performance issues. Reduced by half volume and distance for crouched footsteps and fixed a footstep issue causing crouch slash walk to walk much louder or sound much louder, sorry. Allow both herbivores and carnivores to be able to scent if walking and trotting. Adjusted eating and drinking camera lock angle from a total of 40 degrees to 90 degrees. Anti-cheat improvements. Working on an unstuck command for players, which is incredible because the amount of times I've been stuck in a horrible position and just had to wither away like there was i couldn't do anything allow pounce from behind allow pounce on high pitch angles slopes add previous and next buttons for random skin feature really good as well because the amount of times i've been going through there and just been like oh shit i've missed a really good skin lunge bigger targets if both are swimming cancel carry if using headbutt while carrying something in your mouth give server owners options to enable disable mutations give server owners options to enable disable specific ais enable disable random weather and increase slash decrease general growth rate it's been told that we are getting more of this stuff as well more quality of life improvements coming in the future for the game so that's going to be very exciting to see of course, now let's jump into that Stego concept art because we did get a little bit about that. So when it comes to concept art, Stegosaurus is actually one that we already have in game. However, they did say they've updated it because of some stuff. For example, they want to showcase some of the new animations that are being worked on for Stegosaurus. Hence the drag down and ripped up pounce to pin scene and the tail, or the tail up attack as well. That showcases some extra new stuff. However, the other scenes they did go to mention are more atmospheric, um, like slow and steady travel. So let's just quickly dive into them here. I think this one over here is that tail up attack because the tail is swinging up. However, of course, that is a very unfortunate Utah Raptor. Additionally, you have a Stego chasing what looks like a Serato that has captured a baby one and just absolutely yammed it. It's gone. It's been eaten. It's That is no more. Another one here showcases what I'm assuming is that chill scene if we go all the way up here that it's really hard for you guys to see because i'm in the way but you've got a mother and babies chilling and that's really nice that atmospheric scene again once again albertosaurus and stegosaurus it looks like that tail up attack is being showcased again one of those new animations and it looks like it gets showcased again here what I'm assuming is because most of Stegosaurus' tail attacks go downwards, this one goes upwards of course, and so it's able to be able to take out those bigger opponents, hit them more direct in the head as well, which will be good for that stuff. This one showcases the pinned, I believe, so this will be the pounced and pinned look um, by the looks of it, or this one's dead. Either way, it's unfortunate the situation that it's in, but that looks like that new pounced and pinned showcase that they mentioned in the devlog and then over here we've got another atmospheric scene with two stegos two babies and a herarosaurus in the trees but that's pretty much the concept art for stegosaurus i mean stego isn't a new dinosaur in the game this was just to showcase what's new with it so far because it didn't get one in the past it didn't get any concept art in the past like this so yeah let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below i'd love to know what you think
Of course, everybody, that is everything to do with the Owl's latest dev vlog. Let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comments down below. It's very exciting and it's very nice to see. A lot better than last month's. I thought last month's was really good. It was kind of shadowed out by that camera quality stuff. But I think now that we've got this one without the camera stuff and without that big talk about camera stuff, it's nice to see. If you want to check out another video, I would recommend this one, which was my latest last month's The Owl dev vlog video. However, if you want to check out Path of Titans, this game's competitors dev vlog, I recommend this video here. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.